Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am also doing great. My name is Masi and I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we have a new video, you will be among the first to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate all of you. And my people, you know whatever is going on right now, the fact that Harry lost the case, and you know that is something that is trending as we speak. And just as I said, that doesn't mean we are actually losing everything. We are still here so strong enough, and I said we will not give up in this thing. We will always come through for Harry and Meghan in whatever the case. We must stand firm in everything. And I was just talking of the way, that is the final reason. I can just say, let the, the royalists actually stop asking for Harry and Meghan and their children visiting UK. We got enough reason to why they will not come back to that place. Now, you know, I was just thinking of the fact that William and Kate are actually going through some things. And I know you people have actually seen whatever is going on. You have seen. Kate is actually never seen. We don't know where he, she is. And William is somewhere. You know, William is the one who is actually running the PR stance as we speak. Cancelling events the way he wants. Such a lazy crifter. William is always lazy. He always wants to do whatever he benefits from, but not caring any other person. And I was seeing this story, you know, I was just thinking of the fact that they are actually trying to get the privacy. because. Basically, the media are not talking of anything to do with Kate's situation. Neither are they talking about William and the kind of things he is doing. Just from the first day, I remember we saw William appearing to first royal event. And that was actually after the speculated Kate's release from the hospital. So William was actually drunk. He was not sober, and the media kept quiet. Now, after that, we have had a lot of subsequent events, and things happened the way they happened, and no one was talking of the same. But I must say, William and Kate, they will never have privacy until Harry and Meghan get the treatment that they deserve. And I am proudly saying so because Honestly, we are not giving them a chance. We are not giving them the privacy as they are actually trying to do. The media are trying to cover up everything about William and Kate. Because honestly, whenever we ask of where is Kate, what really happened? These people are just talking of the way the palace insists that Kate is doing well, recovering from the planned abdominal surgery. That is basically a cover-up because we do not have any detail of the same. But when it comes to Harry and Meghan, they are always ready to publish things, to talk of it loudly without even minding the privacy. And that's why we are here to say William and Kate will not get that privacy until Harry and Meghan get the treatment that they deserve. And Kate is getting her own karma she deserve a drunk husband just like the one she has that is prince william a trashy family like the middletons who will actually sacrifice her just for money and power so that's basically what kate is going through right now i know she never expected such things in her life but karma is something that is so real it happens now see, I am very sure Kate is crying wherever she is, if at all she is still there. And you know, we began to sense 
things are actually going the wrong way just you you remember the actually the tour that william made to singapore and you know kate was actually not there she was dropped from earth flop and you know the singapore tour was actually something it hinted some things and we cannot you know we just have to see things in a very keen way we can tell as much as these people will not talk of it as much as william and kate will not share anything and the same way the media are not talking of the same issue we are so much aware so you remember from then i have seen a lot of things happening and you know they have tried to cover up but we already can tell there was a difference and now because we are already getting some hints because we are already talking of it publicly the royals have actually been panicking and pulling out the distractions so that we do not actually ask for Kate and the situation she is in. You all remember the excuse about not going to Singapore because of George exams. I think that was the laziest excuse ever. They just had to cover up things in that manner, but we can tell, we can know everything. We can just know when things are actually not going, not going well. Now see, the current situations. Something is seriously going on between Kate and William. And I can say William is the one who is responsible for causing pain and suffering for many. And now it's the turn for his wife to face it. William is always to blame. I will always blame William in whatever happened. Whatever it comes, I will always blame William and definitely he is doing so. It's not that I'm just talking in that manner without referring to some things. I know why I am saying William is to blame. The pain and suffering that actually Harry and Meghan went through, I always blame William together with that wife. Now it's the turn for Kate to face all these things. And at the end of the day, William and Kate will be blessed with everything they wished for Megan. And my people, I can see things are already coming in that manner. They are already facing it. It's only that they do not want to give up and maybe just seek for forgiveness and just admit. But definitely we can see whatever they wished for Harry and Megan, especially Megan, it's now their turn. Let them face this. I don't know what you think about this, my people. Kindly comment down below on your own take on this story. And up to this point, allow me to end it here. Thank you so much for watching up to the end. And my people, remember to subscribe to our channel and also like this particular video. Stay safe, my people, and also stay tuned for our next one. Until next time, goodbye.